so you made a profit of 5000 No, Your Honor. Well, if you sold it for 10000 and there was $2,500 left on the loan and $2,500 for repairs, $5,000, those are rough numbers, and you sold it for $10,000, then you made $5,000. The loan was for twenty-five dollars and change, so I paid that $2,500 there. Just a second. You said you sold it for ten. You paid twenty-five to pay off the loan, and I'm doing rough numbers for you, and sure. twenty-five to fix it. That leaves you a five thousand dollar profit on your truck. I had no profit. Well, you certainly don't have a lawsuit against the defendant and for a whole host of reasons. One, you refinanced the truck and took it out of his name. It becomes your sole property. You could do whatever you want with your sole property. You want him to pay for the repairs, for payment, car payments that you made, for insurance that you made. All I see is that you made a $5,000 profit. Those are the numbers. You're not losing. Why would you want to say anything? It's just, she just never, I never got any of Just that a second. You're not losing. Why would you want to say anything to me? I just wanted to point out. No, just out. A, Okay. I mean, are you stupid? Right. I'm not stupid. I just said to her, she made a profit. You have no case against him for two reasons. One, because you made a profit. And two, because you refinanced the truck in your name. So it was your property. So why would you want to say anything? I don't. Great. No your, longer. Your Honor, I did not make a profit. I'm, I'm failing to see where you see I made a profit. Well, if you sold the truck... To pay off to, the loan. No, the loan was, according to you, was $2,500. No, no, ma'am. The payoff was $12,543. Oh, Okay, well, that's not what it says in your complaint. That was what the truck was upside down because I sold it for ten, but the payoff was twelve thousand five hundred forty-three dollars. That's fine. You sold your truck. The truck that we purchased no, together. I don't care. And that he it's was not, driving it the whole entire matter. time. It matters not. You refinanced the truck and you took it out of his name and put it in your name. You did that all on your own. I assume you gave him no input into any of the repairs that you did on the truck because it was solely your truck. Your Honor, when I finally was in touch with the defendant in February, he told me that he was not working, uh, he was living out of the truck, and the truck was non-operable. He had drove it to the point where it could not be driven. So Good. in order to sell it, I had to make the repairs. Your truck. And I have text messages your, from him. Just a second. Your truck. You're not a married couple. There's no equitable distribution. There's no community property. You took the truck out of his name. You assumed all of the responsibility for it when you refinanced it. If you let him use the truck for three months or two months or five months, that's your right. But according to both of you, you refinanced the truck and broke up in the same month. That's very coincidental. It's your problem. It's your truck. If you sold it at a loss, that's it. You don't, the courts can't help you. It's your property. Even if I have text messages saying that he, he Absolutely. Is... You can have a constitution. <laughs> Goodbye. This case is over.